The blue eye effect from Dune part one and two is so awesome, I thought to myself, how could I do that? And can you do it in DaVinci Resolve? Well, you can. Let me fight beside you. Reload! G'day superstars, when I've seen other videos based on this effect, I've noticed that it's always the coloured part of the eye that they make blue. But the eyes of the Fremen from Dune Part 1 and 2 are actually the whites of the eyes that are blue, and the rest of their eyes are normal colour. And since there were no tutorials on actually how to do this, I thought I would learn how to do it and show you myself. I thought I'll give you a step-by-step -step guide, so you can create and use the same effects in your projects. Let's get to it. Okay, here we are in DaVinci. This is this very video we're talking about. We're going to go to this clip here. You can see I've zoomed in. You can scroll in to zoom in. Um, I want you to duplicate this clip twice. So one's going to be the left eye, one's going to be the right eye. So you're going to put your mouse on the clip, press Alt and drag upwards, and then upwards again, and that will give you two clips. You're going to mute the audio on the two clips below, because you don't need the audio of those two clips. Now all your clips are visible here at the moment. You're going to have a left eye and a right eye, and you're going to have the main clip. So we can turn off the main clip, you press D, and then turn off the clip above that, which is the other one. That way you're only working on one clip at a time. So this is going to be the first one we work on, so let's click on that and go into the colour tab. Now we're in the colour tab, we're going to right click in the window up here next to your nodes, and we're going to click, right click and say add alpha output. And then we're going to drag this line across to that line there like that. Okay, we'll go over here to the colour picker, we've got this top one selected, we're going to select that and we're also going to zoom in 200%. So let's just scroll your mouse. Now, if you want to, you want to see my ugly teeth. If you want to scroll, you want to scroll in, but then go down, just press the wheel on your mouse inwards and hold, and that will drag it down so you can see what you're seeing. We're going to get that picker, and we're going to pick the color of the eye, but what we're going to do is we're going to try and keep as much of the white of the eye as possible. So let's select that. As you can see, we've lost all the white as well. So we're gonna go to the saturation down here. We're gonna move it out to catch as much as we can. You might have to move the picker around to get a better position of what you want. And you see, that's gonna to be too much. You just gotta keep playing with it till you get that, that white of the eye. Don't worry about bringing out the outside too much, but you want, you don't want to lose that part of the eye. As you can see, we've got all the most of the waters we're going to get. That's what we want. I'm going to go over to the wheel in the middle here, which is the mask wheel. I'm going to select that and the circle mask. I'm going to scroll out now. Just using the scroll on your mouse, I'm going to put that directly over the eye, and we're going to bring it in as much as we can. And then we'll scroll all the way back in again, so we can see what we're doing. And what we want to do is have just the black selected with your eye in the middle, like that. Make sure your clip is at the start of the clip. Go to the Analyze button here, the Tracker window, sorry, which is there, and we're going to Analyze Forward on the clip. That should stick to your eye, you should be able to blink and everything should be fine. Okay, that bit's done. Go back to the start of the clip. Now we're just going to get the offset tool over here. I'm going to drag that to as much as the blue as we can. We want all of that to be as blue as we can get it. The whites of the eye as well as the color in the eye as well. Just move it around until you're comfortable with that. You can play around with contrast if you want and things like that, but I find it's best if you just, just do the offset and maybe the gain so you can bring the blue of the eye bring the white to the eye a bit more blue, like so. Now when you go back into the edit tab, you've only got an eye. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on this one down here, which is our main clip. Press D. Now when you play forward, you've got a blue eye. Now we have to do that again. So let's select the clip below. Press D to turn that back on. And we'll go back into the color tab. Make sure that clip is selected. So we're off that other one now. And now we're going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to right click and we're going to go add alpha output again. 
I'm going to drag that across. I'm already zoomed in, so that makes it easy. I'm going to go back to the color picker here, and we're going to pick the color of that eye again. Now go back to the edit tab again, and hide your original clip, which is this one here. Just press D. And go back into your color tab again, and you'll see that we've got most of the eye there, but we need a little bit more. And we're going to drag the saturation in and out as much as we can. Now you might have to, as I said, you might have to move around with the eye picker until you get those whites of the eyes as much as you can get. We need to get as much as we can getting the whites of the eyes. This particular clip is being problematic, but we can bring it up just that little bit like that and now we're going to create a, a mask around that eye we're going to get the circle mask again we'll put it right there so we're going to scroll inwards like so what we're doing is basically selecting just the eye we're trying to get nothing else but the eye Obviously you're moving around a lot, this is a bit harder to track, but for what we're doing here this should be pretty good. Now we're at the start of the clip again, we're going to go to the track window and track forward. Okay, once you've done that you can do the same thing with over here, you can go to the offset wheel and you can bring it down as blue as you want, like so, and the gain I think it was the game we played with before, and that will you can see it messing with the whites of the eye, which is better. And go back into your edit tab. As you can see, you've just got your eyes. But your main clip is still here, so we hit D on the main clip. And we can play it. So you can create and use the same effects in your projects. Let's get now if it's too much, all you have to do is go up, select each one, go to your inspector, and you can fade it out. And that's simply just going to the opacity tab here, under composite, and just pull it back a little bit so it's not so obvious. And you can select the other eye and do exactly the same thing. Get rid of the inspector, and now when you watch it, it's just like the Fremen. If you like this kind of effect and you like doing effects in DaVinci Resolve, I've done many tutorials on how to do different things. If you click here, you can find out how to make your footage look exactly like an old silent movie.